Hi, this is Dr. Bernstein of Dr. Bernstein's Diabetes University. Uh, we've had requests for uh, a session on how to dilute insulin, uh, which is what we're going to do today. The question is, why would one want to dilute insulin? And what insulins can we dilute? Well, most insulins on the market today, I should say all of them, are much too potent for small children. And one of the many reasons why uh, children have these roller coaster blood sugars is because uh, the insulin that they're getting is overwhelming them. But this is also true for mild type 2 diabetics, where they may need a tiny amount of insulin and uh, they have no way of measuring small amounts, like a tenth of a unit or a twentieth of a unit. What insulins can we dilute? Not all of them. We can dilute regular insulin, also called crystalline insulin. Uh, in the USA, it's uh, Umulin R and uh, Novolin R. Uh, overseas, uh, most of the R insulins have a big R on the bottle, so uh, the R insulins can be diluted. Uh, Novolog and Umalog can be diluted. NPH insulin, which is a cloudy insulin, this can be diluted. But there are no other insulins that, to my knowledge, can be diluted. Uh, if you were to dilute them, you'd be experimenting. I know, for example, that uh, Lantus insulin, which re must be at a certain low pH, cannot be diluted because you would be changing the pH even with a neutral di diluting fluid. Now, where do you get the diluting fluid to dilute the insulin with? Uh, both Novo and Lilly uh, have free diluting fluid available. Uh, you can request it from your pharmacy. If the pharmacy does not, uh, has never heard of this, uh, they can contact the manufacturer or their distributor to find out how to get diluting fluid. Uh, here's a, a bottle of Lily's diluting fluid. Lily's diluting fluid can be used for Umalog, Novolog, and NPH insulin, and also for their mixtures of NPH and uh, uh, regular, or NPH and Umalog. Um, how do you get an empty bottle into which to put the new mixture? Well, the same manufacturers that have the diluting fluid also have empty vials. So here's an empty vial. It says on it, insulin mixtures. And this... I think this is also a Lilly product. Now, we're going to go through this. We're going to decide what sort of dilution to use. Now, how do we decide? Well, let's say uh, that you have a person who weighs 80 pounds and one unit of regular insulin will lower their blood sugar, let's say 100 milligrams per deciliter. And you want to be in, and you can measure on a syringe a half unit, so the best you could measure would be a blood sugar effect of 50, which is a pretty big step to take uh, in adjusting blood sugars. I'd like to adjust my blood sugar if it's 10 or 15 too high. So, if I want to go from 50 to 10, I would dilute 4 to 1, so that for every unit of diluted insulin, there would be a total of 5 units. So I have one-fifth the potency. Um, 
we're going to try uh, uh, for our demonstration today in order to save time we're going to go two to one we're going to put two parts of diluting fluid in a vial and one part of insulin but I have uh, infants on 20 to 1 uh, so uh, you pick the dilution for the convenience of injection one little warning however with little kids or, in or infants you could end up with such a high dilution that the volume of liquid that you're injecting is, uh, t uh, is so high that you're going to leave a big lump from the injection. So if a person needs, uh, let's say, a quarter of a unit, and you've diluted, let's say, 30 to 1, uh, you, you'll probably be giving an injection of uh, somewhere between 8 and 12 uh, units in one shot, which might be a big shot for a little baby. Uh, so you have to do the calculations carefully in your head or with pencil and paper uh, before you make a final decision on the dilution. Uh, it's easy enough to take the vials out of the boxes. This is the empty vial. Now, I'm going to label the empty vial at the beginning so I don't get confused. I'm going to take a felt tip marker uh, and any insulin that's diluted we mark with a D. So I'm using regular insulin and it's going to be diluted. We're going to write down RD. R D. Now, let, I'm going to do it two to one, so we're going to write two colon one. Two colon one. There it is. And I'm going to cover this with a piece of clear tape so that the labeling doesn't rub off. Here is a piece of tape. Actually, I need... Ah, there, okay. So that's covered. And now we're going to look at the diluting fluid. Again, open the box, throw away the outer box, pop the cap off the diluting fluid vial. Now we're going to use a fairly large syringe and a large needle to do this because we're not injecting a person with these. We're puncturing a rubber stopper and we want to be able to transfer uh, a, a substantial amount of insulin at one time. So, here is the syringe. Uh, here is a needle. It's labeled 22 gauge, one inch. And this is not for injection, it's just for transferring fluids. And we're going to take the cap off the syringe, throw that away. And put the needle on the syringe. It's a twist until it tightens in like that. Pull the cap off. Now, before we put anything into the empty vial, which is marked RD, we have to take air out of the vial. Otherwise, uh, the pressure will build up and it will not admit all the fluid. It'll be too hard to push it in. So I'm first going to take out one whole syringe full of air from the empty vial. 
and this syringe is labeled was labeled three cc's yep so I'm gonna draw out all three cc's of air from this 10 cc vial okay now I'm going to put diluting fluid in that vial and before I do that because I'm going to be drawing fluid out of the diluting fluid vial I have to inject air into the diluting fluid vial so the air I drew out of the empty vial I'm going to inject into the diluting fluid vial so here's the diluting fluid vial I'm going to squ squirt air into it and now I'm going to draw, draw out the diluting fluid and because there's so much air in there it comes out very easily and I'm going to keep pulling until I get three cc's and there are no bubbles in here this is three cc's of diluting fluid I'm going to inject that into the RD vial here we go and now since I'm going to want to inject insulin next uh, I'm going to well no I'm going to put we said we're going to go two to one so I'm going to go two parts of diluting fluid so I'm going to draw out another three cc's and going to inject it into the diluting fluid vial so there's three cc's of air another three cc's going into the diluting fluid vial and now should be easy to get more diluting fluid into the syringe this will be the second syringe full of diluting fluid there it is now we're through the diluting fluid I put it out of the way where I don't have to get confused by its presence we're now going to inject another three cc's into the new RD vial there we are ah wait one more thing stick the needle back in I want to inject the R now the insulin so I'm going to draw three cc's of air out and we're going to inject that into the insulin vial here's the insulin that's the insulin vial there goes the air into it and now we're going to draw out insulin notice that we've drawn out two cc's of diluting fluid we have put them in the RD vial and here comes I'm sorry two times three cc's it's very easy to get confused when you do this stuff and now we're going to take the three cc's of insulin and put it in the RD vial from which we had just taken the air and it'll go right in very nicely without any bubbles there it is we now have three times three cc's which would be nine cc's there are two parts of diluting fluid one part of insulin and uh, we called uh, now henceforth every unit that we pull out of this vial what we've labeled RD is really one-third of a unit of insulin uh, and henceforth you're thinking in your head that um, one unit uh, 
is not going to lower you by 100, but one unit will lower you by 33, a uh, third of 100. And uh, you don't have to be converting back and forth uh, to whole units anymore. You're talking RD units. And that's the story. That's how you dilute insulin. You can make it one to one, uh, 20 to one, five to one, uh, your decision, whatever is most convenient. Good luck. Uh, please uh, look below on the screen for instructions on how to uh, uh, get other uh, videos and contacts. Uh, all of these are no charge. Uh, we'll see you at the next session. The bulk of what you've heard on this video uh, appears in my book, Dr. Bernstein's Diabetes Solution, which is available at uh, most internet and local bookstores. It is published by the Hachette Book Group. I'd like to remind you that we have monthly free teleseminars every month at the site AskDrBernstein.net. Doctor is spelt D-R, so AskDrBernstein.net for a free monthly teleseminar. Uh, sign up a day or two in advance so that you get a reserved seat. Good luck and thanks for listening.